7 Fascinating Facts About William Harvey William Harvey was an English physician who made influential contributions in anatomy and physiology. He was the first known physician to describe completely, and in detail, the systemic circulation and properties of blood being pumped to the brain and the rest of the body by the heart, though earlier writers, such as Rialdo Colombo, Michael Savitas, and Jacques Dubois, had provided precursors of the theory. Fact 1 William Harvey was born on 1 April 1578 The vessel I designed for the study of human blood flows for instruction in that science is most simple in principle, natural and elegant in effect. He also studied the movement of the heart and the blood. He discovered that the blood flow into the head was regulated by the brain through the renal artery. William Harvey could explain the circulation of blood through the body by the heart and the brain, and its function in the circulatory system. This led to the circulation of blood as we know it today. He also stated that the circulation of blood in the body of a man consists of the following branches, the artery and vein, streams, and great effusion, and certain burrs by which there is inspiration from the brain. Fact 2 William Harvey died on 3 June 1657. Fact 3 William Harvey attended the University of Padua. He attended Padua University, graduating as a doctor of medicine in 1540. His original system of blood circulation, the idea that blood circulates throughout the body from the heart was first proposed by Aristotle in the 4th century BC. However, it was William Harvey who began the research that led to an understanding of the circulation of blood, when he reduced its size and began the work of eliminating holes in his theory of blood circulation. His reduction in the size of the blood vessels of the heart and arms was the beginning of the system now called the four-chamber circulatory system. Fact 4 William Harvey studied medicine at Cambridge Harvey studied medicine at Cambridge and graduated with an MB in 1650. He gained his MD in 1654. He joined the Cambridge University Medical Faculty in 1655. After some time, Harvey left the university, for financial reasons, and moved to Utrecht, where he spent most of his life. While there, he was appointed to the surgical school of the university and in 1661 he was sent to present his views on the circulation of blood to King Charles II of England. He was given the title Doctor of Physic and made head of the surgical school. He developed a vascular model for the heart, which is the basis of what is now called the Harvey Curtis diagram. Fact 5 William Harvey was a court physician he was employed at the court of James I it was there that he first developed the system of showing venous circulation through his research into the circulation of the arm and forearm veins. He made what we would now consider a remarkable discovery that the arteries and veins only allowed blood to flow in one direction. A clever observation made whilst the subject of conversation that this part of the body was in fact blood spotted as if it had been artificially plucked. Upon this, he was able to devise a simple and precise method to measure blood pressure by blood flow from the veins to the heart. Fact 6 William Harvey was a member of the Royal College of Physicians. Fact 7 William Harvey was the first person to describe the function of the circulation of blood Harvey described the circulation in an account published in 1665. He wrote that the whole of the blood in our bodies goes by streams out of the heart through veins, two at the bottom, and two at the top, each of which branches out and brings its blood to the opposite side of the body. He described the mechanics of the blood leaving the heart with the thought, it must be swift as the wind, or it will be snatched by it and seized. He was also the first person to realize that the pulse of the blood was vital to its life-giving ability, 